Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is grade 3, module 2. Write your name on here first. We're going to estimate first and then solve each problem. Melissa and her mom go on a road trip. They drive 87 kilometers before lunch and they drive 59 kilometers after lunch. So we think we're going to estimate how many more kilometers they drive before lunch then after lunch by rounding to the nearest 10. So that's kind of a lot at once. Keep in mind we're estimating and we want to know how many more. So it's the difference between before and after lunch. Rounding to the nearest 10, the 87 before is about 90 if we round to the nearest 10 and the 59 after is about 60 so we're talking about 90 minus 60 which equals 30 and we're talking about kilometers The difference between the two is about thirty kilometers. <clears throat> Now you see the word precisely. So now we have to figure out exactly what it is. So that's 87 minus 59. And this would actually be easier to do mentally because 59 is almost 60. But we'll use the vertical method. We don't have enough ones, so we're gonna have to break up one of those tens. It gives us 17 ones now, so 17 minus 9 is 8 ones. 7 tens minus 5 tens is 2 tens. The precise, oops, fix that. difference is 28 kilometers. Compare your estimate to your answer. Is the answer reasonable? Write a sentence to explain your thinking. 30, okay, the, the 30 kilometer, kilometer, <laughs> kilometer, is very close seven kilometer actual difference <clears throat> it is reasonable And the difference is three kilometers. It's about 10%. That's a good enough estimate. Uh, as far as we know, Amy measures a ribbon. She measures a total of 393 centimeters of ribbon and cuts it into two pieces. The first piece is 184 centimeters. How long is the second piece? Estimate the length of the second piece of ribbon by rounding in two different ways. 
So this is really kind of two in two different ways. So we're going to do it. We're going to round by hundreds and we're going to round by tens. And those will be the two different ways that we round. So uh, three by hundreds, we'd say 393 is about, and we have to find the difference between these two, right? Three hundred ninety-three. We'd round up to four hundred, <clears throat> and the hundred eighty-four. We can round that up to two hundred. So we'd have four hundred minus two hundred equals two hundred cm. And if we round by tens, the three ninety-three is closer to 390 and the 184 would be between 180 and 190 it's closer to 180 390 minus 180 now you can use you can do this mentally because it works out that you, your ones are you have enough ones to subtract because it's zero right and you have enough tens. You have nine tens and you're subtracting eight. So you don't have to break up any hundreds. You can just look at this and use the digits in your head. And you're going to have 210 for the difference. And that's centimeters. Precisely how long is the second piece of ribbon? Explain why one estimate was closer. So the second piece of ribbon, that's what we've been solving for this whole time, right? And just in case, there's the whole ribbon, W for whole, and we know that that was 393 centimeters. And then the first piece, and we have a second piece. And we know how long the first piece is. That's 184. And we have to figure out the second piece. 393 minus 184. And we can see we're taking away four ones. We don't have four ones. So we're going to break up one of these tens. It leaves us with eight tens left. Ten more ones. It leaves us 13 ones. 13 minus four is nine. 8 tens minus 8 tens. We can do that. We just won't have any tens left over. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So the second ribbon is 209 cm. And now we have to explain why one estimate was closer. Because right? there's two things we have to do here. Precisely how long we did that, and then we have to explain why one was closer. Now, which one was closer? This one here, rounding by 10, was closer, because that was 210. They're both pretty close. The hundreds was 200, right? But this is only one away. And when you, when you round by a smaller place value, you get closer estimates. Right, if you're rounding by tens, you're going to get it. It's going to be closer to, like here, the 393 and the 390. That's only three apart, and the 184 and 180. That's only four apart. But here, this is seven apart, and then here it's 16 apart. So when you're rounding to rounding to smaller place values, you're going to get closer estimates. I mean, the most, a uh, rounding by tens, the most you can be off by from the actual measurement would be five centimeters. <clears throat> and then, uh, but if you're rounding by hundreds, you could be off by 49. The hundreds are a lot easier to subtract, though. And sometimes you don't need to be that accurate. It 
the weight of a chicken leg, a steak, and a ham are shown to the right. <clears throat> so this is the weight of them all together. The chicken and the steak together, that's the chicken and the steak together, weigh 341 grams. So how much does the ham, how much does the ham weigh? Estimate the weight of the ham by rounding. So we're looking for the difference between this, the whole thing, and these two things put together, which is that. So by rounding, it doesn't say if we had to round by tens or by hundreds. I'm going to round by hundreds because it's easier to do the subtraction. So 989, that's going to be in between 900 and 1,000. And it's closer to 1,000. So it's 1,000 minus and this if I round this by 100 um, it's 350 would be in the middle between 300 and 400 and it's less than that so it's closer to 300 so a thousand minus 300 is 700 because that's ten hundreds kind of right minus three hundreds is going to be seven hundreds 700 grams how much does the ham actually weigh we're going to subtract the 989. We're going to subtract the 341. And we have enough ones, so we don't have to break up any tens. 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. So the ham. Weighs 648 grams. And we already have our picture for RDW. They gave us the picture, so we don't have to draw one. Kate uses 506 liters of water each week to water plants. She uses 252 liters to water the plants in the greenhouse. How much water does she use for the other plants? So she's got some plants in the greenhouse and some plants other places, either outdoors or in her house. The house doesn't say. So we're going to estimate by rounding. So here's like all the plants we know. All the plants is 506 liters. It's a lot of liters for watering plants, even for a whole week. She's got a lot of plants. And then the greenhouse plants, 252 liters. And this we don't know. So we're subtracting. Here's our estimate. Let's estimate by, by hundreds. So the 506, 6 is about 500. That's pretty close. And the 252, that's going to be close to, that's in between 250 and 260, closer to 250. Oh, we're rounding by hundreds, not tens, right? I said hundreds, right? So rounding by hundreds is a little more than 250, so that makes it closer to 300 than 200. That's better. And 500 liters minus 300 liters equals 200 liters. She uses about 200 liters for the other plants. And we're going to estimate how much water Kate uses for the other plants by rounding in a different way. So now we're round by tens. So that's 506 
that's going to be in between 500 and 510. And since it's 6, it's more than 505, which would be right in the middle. It's closer to 510. And the 252 is going to be in between 250 and 260 for the nearest 10. It's closer to 250. So we're looking at 510 minus 200. 50, and you might be able to do this in your head, thinking that 250 is half of 500, so you're going to have 250 and then the other 10, you, it's going to come to 260, but this is how you do the subtraction. Uh, we have plenty of 1s, but we don't have enough 10s, so there's breaking up one of the 100s, 400s left, 10 more 10s, plus this 1 we already have, now we have 11. 11 tens minus 5 tens is 6 tens, and then we have 200s left, 260 as we did, as I just figured out mentally. So, uh, she uses about 260 liters. How much water does Kate actually use? That's the 506 minus the 252. 6 minus 2. We have enough 1s uh, to subtract 2 1s. There's 4 left. But we don't have any 10s to subtract 5 10s. So we have to break up one of these 100s. So we're unbundling this 100. We'll have 4 100s left after that. And that gets us 10 10s, which Added to the zero is just 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 10's left, and 4 minus 200's is 200's. 254. Kate actually, there's the word actually right there, uses. 254 liters for the other plants. The closest estimate, right? Because we have to explain, we have to say which estimate is closer and explain why. We kind of, we've answered a question very similar to that already. Right when we did the uh, the bottom of page one, so our answer is going to be very similar to that. Uh, and here we have the when we rounded by we rounded by hundreds and we were at two hundred, and that's almost that's fifty four apart from the actual answer. And the two hundred sixty is only six away. Right, two hundred fifty four and two hundred sixty. That's only six away. So. Uh, the rounding by tens was closer because Because the smaller place values give closer estimates. Now sometimes they give the same estimates but almost always closer.